Okay guys, welcome back. It's been a while since we made a video. Uh, we were working on the swather uh, and the draper head. Sorry, I had a little brain lapse there. We were working on the draper head. We got the swather going, the draper going. We draped all of the red clover. Uh, we also draped the alfalfa. Uh, we had some bugs moving into the garden webworm, moving into the alfalfa. You only ate the alfalfa, so we draped all the alfalfa too. And now I am back in the sedan, cowpea, and bean field. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little look at this field. This is the field that I did not till, but as soon as I got done combining the wheat, I just uh, came in and no tilt with the Kenzie planter right into the wheat stubble. Uh, I had mowed the wheat stubble off relatively low, and this is what we've got. So I'm sitting on a poor end of the field here, and I'm gonna run a little bit to show you what it looks like down in here, but uh, we are probably going to hay uh, the sedan. What we have going on is the drought is here, hasn't let up, we had a week and a half of this cooler than normal weather. Uh, haven't had a whole lot of rain yet, but we have had some nice cool weather. And that is over now, and the heat is coming back. So we are going to hate this rather than grazing it. Pretty thin there in some spots. There's cow peas. Raw sedan and the raw cow peas. But we get down here on this field into the better soil and the sedan really, really jumps up. Uh, haven't made a whole lot of sedan hay before, so I was talking with Brother Jesse who has made it. And I don't know, I reckon we're going to learn. When we get done mowing this field, I'm going to go down into the bottom field and mow the good tall sedan. So down here on the better soil, the sedan is a little head tall, right about six foot tall. It's getting a little bit tall down here, but I was letting those four ends try and, try and catch up. This is a job where the where the Heston Swather really really does a good job. I'm gonna stop here for a sec. You guys can get the idea. You don't need to see my shaky hand and the tractor jumping around. Uh, but this is definitely a job for that Heston Swather, the Tycor on steel Swather, and it's really ripping those stems up. And, uh, I think it'll make some pretty good hay. This is the BMR sedan sort of cross. And one thing that I have noticed about the uh, BMR cross is that the stalks are a little bit drier to begin with, it seems like. And so you can see it already starting to wilt pretty good. And that's only been down for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try and make some hay to feed the cows. I'll show you a shot up there at the cornfield. The uh, cornfield, you can sure. So, guys, a telemarketer called me there, and that's why it got cut off. Anyway, I was going to give you a look at the cornfield there. Uh, my beautiful, super clean cornfield that is cooking alive and firing from the bottom. Uh, who knows what we'll have there? There are ears, and they are decent ears, but. Uh, test weight's going to be low and the yield's going to be low. So anyway guys, thanks for watching.